Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Controversial Miss Jamaica World panelist Shanique Williams says she has no intention to walk out of the competition despite calls for her to do so. Williams is being pressured to quit because years ago she was arrested and charged with aiding and abetting the rape and sexual touching of a 15-year-old girl, although the matter was dismissed in court after the complainant refused to proceed with the case. The Kingston pastor who was being sought by the police for allegedly repeatedly having sex with a 12-year-old girl before impregnating her is now in jail. 52-year-old Kenneth Blake, the pastor of the Slypen Road Harvest Temple Apostolic Church, was this morning arrested and charged with rape, forcible abduction, grievous sexual assault, sexual touching and sexual intercourse with a person under 16 years old. Opposition leader Dr. Peter Phillips has apologized for comments he made on Sunday, suggesting that the government's one-seat majority could soon be affected by sickness. The ruling Jamaica Labour Party had taken issue with the statement, saying it was unfortunate given that the North West St. Andrew MP Derek Smith has been ill. The government and frustrated truckers have worked out a formula to resolve the issues which led to a strike this week. In sports, quarter miler Stephanie Ann McPherson has rejected claims she did not run in the women's 4x400 meter relays on Sunday because she had an injury. According to McPherson, she was ready to run, but coach Paul Francis told her that she had been replaced. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be partly cloudy. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers mainly across western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.